All right, guys, this is going to be a very informative video that's going to be a good DIY for anybody, no matter what car you have. If you have any interior rattles, creaks, noises, anything that's driving you up a wall, you brought it to the dealer many times. The dealer's not going to fix this. The dealer is never going to go through this procedure. It's just not part of any automotive OEM's TSB, Technical Service Bulletin, procedure of repairing squeaks, creaks, and rattles on the interior of any car. It's going to take too much time for them. They're not going to sit there. They're not going to put the time and dedication into making this problem go away. So I want to put this video together. I'm going to show you a bunch of the materials that I use, and this applies to any car. So I'm going to demonstrate today on the Q50 Red Sport that we own. Uh, just because it's here right now, and I don't feel like don't feel like moving other cars in and out of the garage, so I'm going to do this outside. And I'm going to take the camera off the tripod, and I'm going to go over all the tools that you see here on this workbench. And I hope you guys can pick up some tips. All of this stuff is readily available. If you don't have any of these tools, um, you know you can pick the stuff up online. You can pick it up locally, and some of the other materials in the back I'm going to show. They're instrumental in correcting squeaks, creaks, and rattles door panels, dash panels, side panels, headliners, you name it. Just follow the techniques that I explain and understand that this concept applies to any of those applications because you really have to take it, you know, into consideration what causes these issues. And it's usually similar materials in contact or dissimilar materials in contact when the car is driving, when it's vibrating, when you know there's any kind of shock that's coming into the car and it causes tolerances of all of those materials to shift and move, whether it's a door panel, it's an interior trim panel, whether it's the unibody of the car twisting. Uh, regardless, the process here is to dampen and isolate those problems and make the fit tighter, eliminate the tolerances between the door panel clips, between panel clips, uh, between you know, plastic materials that are part of the door panels that are like bonded together or plastic riveted together. A lot of times there's no isolation or dampening between those two pieces of material. And you'll be surprised with expansion and contraction, with, um, you know, driving on bumpy roads, just with the shock of just driving down a normal road, it's causing everything to shift, creak, and rattle. And it drives me crazy. So this is something I tried to teach a lot of guys that have worked for me for like over 20 years. Some of them get it. A majority of them don't get it because they don't really understand, you know, how crazy you have to be with this and the certain process of going about finding where these rattles are coming from and how to approach correcting them. So I'm going to take the camera off the tripod. I'm going to go over everything over here uh, and explain to you in quick detail as far as why I use it and what it actually does. All right, guys, we're over at the workbench here that I set up for you. I just want to go through a couple of uh, the key ingredients to this fix. The first thing you're going to need, you're going to need a box of the 3M window weld. If you saw my uh, GT350 shifter video, pick this stuff up. It, it'll last you for years. Not only can you do the car that you currently have, you could probably do every car in your household, your friends' cars. you got to have this stuff. Now, the other material by 3M is 3M window weld. This is a similar product to this, except in liquid form. But this is used for different techniques and different applications. You're not going to use this all the time. You're going to want to stick with this product because it's easier to apply. It's not going to make a huge mess. Moving over here, this is a butyl soundproofing material uh, similar to Dynamat Extreme. I actually found that this material cuts and is a little bit more flexible than Dynamat and it's much more affordable. So this, you're going to need this as well. You're going to need a caulking gun for the 3M window weld, you definitely need rubber gloves. This stuff will get all over you, no matter how hard you try not to. And then you're gonna need um, a very tough solvent to get it off your hands and clothes. You need some acid brushes. This is to brush on the 3M window weld. A uh, flathead screwdriver, a small one, usually used to remove any electrical clips that are attached to the door panels. I usually use a ratcheting screwdriver with uh, some of these guys to get the door panel off itself. A small pick to get any of the access plastic panels off, including you know a larger one, and then various nylon wedges. Uh, I stick underneath the door panel between the actual metal of the door and the door panel itself, and I pop it out. The heat gun, you guys got to get a heat gun if you don't have one. This thing is uh, you know it's going to save you guys a lot of time and a lot of headaches breaking stuff. Uh, a good pair of scissors, you know, to cut the material over there. 
These scissors have a little bit of serration on them. These are by Cutco. These are like $60 scissors. I got two rubber rollers here, uh, different shapes. This is to apply pressure to apply this material onto the metal surfaces or plastic surfaces of the door panels. Then I have a cheap throwaway knife, and then I have a better knife here to trim that material out. So pretty basic materials. I mean, between the Dynamat type material there, the window weld, and the 3M window weld ribbon sealer, you're probably looking at about like $60. But considering that this will fix the rattles on your car permanently, I think it's worth investing into it. And if you guys don't have any of these tools here, um, you know, you could probably pick this stuff online on Amazon. But I'm going to put a link to the 3M products and the uh, soundproofing material because you can pick that up on Amazon relatively cheap and uh, it'll show up within two days. So I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to show you how to take the door panel off and then I'm going to put the door panel on the bench and I'm going to go through exactly what you guys need to do to fix your uh, door panel rattles for once and for all. All right, guys, we're over at the car now. I just want to show you a quick rundown of the door panel and the steps you're going to have to apply to removing the door panel. This is on an Infiniti Q50, but almost every car is similar. I mean, if you're working on a Porsche or BMW or Mercedes or something that has like a lot of trim, there's just going to be a little bit more involved to do that. But this will give you a general idea that wherever the door handle is, uh, right up here, there's always going to be a panel that's got to be removed. There's going to be a bolt always here always where the grab of the door is right here straight down there's gonna be a piece of rubber or a piece of plastic that you use the small pick you pull it up and that's gonna give you access to the bolt this is um, you know there's a lot of force on the door panel right here so this is always bolted to either a steel brace that's on the door or to the actual door itself the actual structural frame of the door and then all along the bottom of the door and a perimeter that's where the door panel clips are and uh, once in a while you may get a screw down in here or down in here but it really depends on the car and once you get the bolts out from here and here then you use the nylon wedges and you go all the way around and I usually start in one corner and I'll stick one here and one here pry up you know carefully and then the door panel is just gonna lift up and then away from the car and that the switch gear is gonna come along with it the uh, courtesy lamp is gonna come along with it and then you just have to unplug that and the switch gear here, which is where I use the flathead screwdriver for. And then you can take it over to the bench, and then we're going to walk you through the steps. All right, folks. So the bolt up here is a 10 millimeter. And I'm just going to use my quarter inch drive ratchet to get that off. And I usually just place all the hardware on the passenger side floor, uh, you know, just for safekeeping. And then this guy here, this is a Phillips head screw. And I'm not going to move the camera just because you can kind of see what I'm doing. And a ratcheting screwdriver really makes your life easier, especially when you're working on cars. I mean, these things are great. You don't necessarily need a snap-on screwdriver, but you see, like I said, this one is just a standard uh, self-tapping type of a screw. All right, folks, so we removed the top bolt here and the bolt for where the um, grip is. And now we're gonna go and see where's the best location to get these picks in, uh, these nylon pry tools. So usually I start on the bottom. I hope you guys could, uh, could see what I'm doing here. We start on the bottom, and we just kind of get them in there. And now, just put a little pressure, okay? And you can see what we're working with here. So you got to disable, you know, and get rid of all these clips and plugs and, and everything else. So I'm going to just show you how we're going to do that. Just pull them like that, okay? and then they release. Courtesy lamp, it's very easy to get that out. Okay, and then the last one is this guy here. Okay, door panel is removed completely off the car. So just wanna show you uh, a little bit as far as why everything rattles and what causes rattles on these cars, or any car for that matter. So if you look at the door, I mean, you have, you know, big pieces of metal, there's no soundproofing, there's, there's just nothing here. I mean, this door sounds pretty dead, but look at the size of that speaker. That's like a 10 inch, you know, full range uh, woofer that's in the door. And this thing puts out a lot of vibrations in this door, like you, you couldn't even imagine. But a lot of the issues with the rattles are down here where the door panel clips are. And you can see some car manufacturers, they put a little thin foam isolator, you know, because like I said, it's a known problem. There's just tolerances 
between door panel clips and uh, how they adhere to the car. So we're going to fix all of that. We're going to go through all the clips. We're going to put some Dynamat on some of these areas here, uh, you know, the, the material that I use. And then I'm going to show you exactly what to do to the door panel itself, just to make it a little bit more dampened and dead. That when you put everything together, you crank up the base on your car, you're not going to hear fluttering and rattling and buzzing, and it's going to drive you absolutely crazy. So, like I said, this is a pretty straightforward uh, removal. It took me, you know, like less than five minutes to get it off the car. So I'm going to set the um, door panel up on the little workbench over on the other side of the car, and I'm going to go over exactly what we're going to do. All right, guys, we got the door panel over on the workbench, and I just want to show you, you know, I mean, it's pretty flimsy stuff. You know, there's multiple pieces of plastic that they plastic rivet together. And sometimes, yeah, I mean, look, look what they're doing for a soundproof. I mean, this, this stuff is junk. So you could just, you hear that? So that's how you pretty much are going to find where your compromised sections are. It's just you're going to bang on everything a lot. You're going to see where it's making noise, what connection points are making noise, and then that's where you're going to go in there and, and kind of fine-tune everything. So if you look at the, the door panel clips here, I mean, you know, they clip into the holes, but there's, there's no isolation here. And another thing is on these door panel clips is that they, you know, they wiggle and they move a lot. So by using the 3M window weld, the ribbon sealer, by wrapping it all around the door panel clip and putting it back in, now it's going to dampen where the clip is attached to the door panel, and then you're going to dampen where the clip mounts inside the, the, the holes of the metal door on the car. So that's really what you want. You want to eliminate any kind of movement, any kind of areas where resonance is going to cause any of this stuff to wiggle and drive you absolutely... I mean, look at this one. This thing is, is, is all over the place. Now for sections like this, you know, where you have it, you know, plastic riveted together, that's where you use the liquid 3M window weld. If you have a problematic area, like down here, where you're getting a lot of buzz and a lot of rattles, you would take the tube of that with your gloves and you would squirt it all in between where these mounting points meet. Because you're not going to be able to get the other material in there. You're going to squirt it in there as neatly as possible in all these seams, okay, all the way around. And what that's going to do when it sets, it's going, to put, it's going to fuse these two sections together. So even though it's plastic welded together, like I said, this is not like TIG welding or MIG welding or doing a, a real Rosset spot weld. This is just, you know, mass produced, you know, plastic welding. So there's always going to be a little tolerance, whether the machine didn't push this down far enough and, and this part was moved a little bit in the jig. So that's something you got to really consider as to, as to why this happens um, in so many new cars today. I mean, things are going so quickly, the production process is so quick, and uh, it's really hard. I mean, you, you're not going to be able to QC that all day long. It's, it's just not going to be possible, not with the way cars are made today. So let me put the camera on my head, and I'm going to show you um, how we're going to isolate all the door panel clips. I'm going to show you a few of those, and then we're going to go back over to the car and mount it. All right, guys, so I'm just going to show you what we do with the door panel clips. So I take the 3M window weld. You know, you get it in your hands, you know, soften it up. And you stuff some right where the door panel clip is going to mount. Okay, right in here. You stuff some in the groove, and then you get some on the actual clip itself. And you just twist it around as best as you can. And then when you put it back in, you're going to feel it goes in tight. You see that? It's tight. There's no movement. There's no wiggle. There's no chance for this ever to vibrate or rattle again and it's very straightforward it's very simple I mean you know just apply this to you know to your car the dealership's not going to do this remember that they're going to tell your car to come in they're going to BS you they're going to waste your time and you're going to leave with the rattles take you know a Saturday or Sunday afternoon spend 40 bucks in material and just knock this stuff out so I already went around the rest of the door panel and I did the rest of the clips but I just wanted to show you you know that's pretty much how it's done and we're going to do this guy over here so you put a little bit in there, and then you put a little bit where it's going to slide into, okay? And that's it. No more noise. This one's already done. 
this one is already done so I'm just going to put a little bit more material here to get that in there and like I said there's not a lot of um, dampening like I said they use these little tiny uh, foam what are like little washers on there but that's not enough to stop the rattles from happening and also on this door panel like you could hear it so that's where we move over to this material and like I said you don't have to go crazy you know making patterns for this I mean this is not something that's ever going to be seen but I just eyeball it and if you have a section in the door like over here it just feels really flimsy you know I'll just cut a section out of this and peel it back and just roll it out and then we use the, the roller and it may not seem like it's gonna do a lot but watch all right you could hear it already that it sounds better and we're gonna put another piece over here on this side and you don't have to cover all of it you just have to cover key areas where you're trying to dampen the plastic and that's the trick to this you just want to dampen everything you want everything to be isolated okay you hear that nice and solid so we have a lot of noise up this area and that's where we're going to use more of this material here my scissors fell apart wonderful so I'll use this piece here and I'm doing this in real time I mean you could spend you know between getting the door panel off and doing all this stuff and getting your material set up you could spend like a half hour per door but let me tell you something it's gonna be well worth it when you get back in the car and you crank your radio up or you hit bumps and you don't have to hear the whole car shaking apart hear that you hear the difference just by putting these two pieces on there so that's what you got to do you got to hit everything you got to hit everything a lot be, be a little crazy with it don't be scared to hit the car you're not going to break it and like I said this this car's got like a 10 inch woofer and if you look at the uh, if you look at the grill it's like not really designated for a 10 inch woofer in the door and that's why, you know, the excursion of that woofer, it's causing everything in the bottom of the door to shake. Now, when we got this car, the driver's side uh, door was really bad, and that's the one that I fixed. The passenger side wasn't making noise up until recently, so that's why I am doing this now, and I'm videoing it, it's to show you guys what I'm actually doing. And then we're going to put another piece down here. And this stuff is great. I mean, it's so easy to apply. And the material that's on the back side of this is the same material that the uh, the 3M window weld is made of. It's like a like a butyl uh, urethane material. Super sticky, uh, easy to apply. Okay. And you just press it in there. Grab your roller. Okay, so we're just gonna you're just gonna keep going around the door, you know, doing more sections as you go along, and like I like I'm showing you here, you don't have to do this whole piece in one section. You really just need to get it in there, you know, where you're gonna just dampen the plastic. That's what you want to do. You want to add dampening to this material so it doesn't feel so flimsy and crappy. So I'm going to go through the door, I'm going to pause the camera because I don't want it to, this video to be too long. I'm going to go through the door, put a couple more pieces on there, and then we're going to go back to the car and get it installed. Alright guys, we pretty much finished up the door panel. I just want to show you, before I, we put it on the car, I take some of the 3M window weld, and I apply it to one or two sides of the door panel clip. And this is really just to dampen, as this plastic mating surface touches the metal on the actual car, if there's any tolerance between the engagement point on the clip 
as you can see right there. I mean, it doesn't have much of an engagement. It just has, a, you know, a little bit here. And you, you saw how easily that these things release just with a little bit of a tug. So you want to go around all the clips. Everywhere there's going to be an engagement point between the plastic and the metal in the car. And you want to put some of this stuff, you know, all around just to give it a little dampening. And you want to put it on thin. You don't want to put it on too thick. Then it would stop the clip from actually going in and anchoring into the door, door itself. So you want to just walk around, do what I did here. And then we're gonna go over the car and uh, I'm gonna show you how everything goes back together. All right, folks, we're back over at the car. You're gonna to wanna to connect your electrical connections. Pretty straightforward. Down here for here. Okay, now we've gotta get these cables in. So remember how these things came out. You're gonna slide that in there. That's that. So it's, it's pretty easy, I mean. Just take your time. Okay, and that's it. So we're gonna go over to the car. And you're gonna always start at the top, right here. That's always gonna be your starting point. If you can see, right up here, you wanna get this lip to seat into this groove. And that's gonna be your starting point, because if you don't get it in there, you're gonna screw everything up, you're gonna force it, you're gonna break the clips, and uh, you're gonna blame me, <laughs> so. Okay, get it on there. Don't be afraid, you're not gonna break anything. You wanna make sure that all those clips seated properly. Otherwise, you're not gonna get rid of all the rattles. And then we're gonna put back the rubber grommet here, the 10 mil millimeter bolt here, and then the Phillips, like I see right there, that's a metal brace that's already welded to the actual door itself. That's gonna give it the strength. And then we're pretty much done. So I hope you guys learned a little something here. It's very basic um, materials, nothing fancy. It just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience to get the door panel off, you know, get it off the car and Start banging it. When it's off the car, start banging it. See where you see plastic or anything that's compromised, the way this door panel's assembled. And that's where you're gonna go and start applying you know, the soundproofing material. Uh, you're gonna apply the 3M window weld. And if you have some real tough situations where the bottom section of the door, the way it's plastic welded to the top section, that's where you squirt in the liquid uh, 3M window weld. And like I said, when you do the liquid 3M window weld, you have to let that stuff cure. It's gonna make an absolute mess. So I'm just letting you know, have some Prepsol solvent and a lot of rags and a lot of gloves because it's gonna make an absolute mess. You gotta get that stuff off all the material before it cures, otherwise you're gonna, you're just gonna destroy everything. So, like I said, look. You see, it's, it's, it's dead. And that's what you want. So this will work on any car. You know, I demonstrated here on, on uh, the Infiniti Q50 that we own. And if anybody has questions, um, you know, post them in the comments below. I've been fixing rattles in cars for 27 years. It's one of my specialties. I've actually done a lot of these repairs for major, you know, dealerships around here, whether it was Porsche, it was Jaguar, it was BMW, it was Mercedes-Benz. I mean, you know, I'm friends with a lot of the shop foremans and they were, you know, have these problematic cars where they couldn't fix rattles and they would call me in and, you know, I would just go in there and walk them through it. And, you know, sometimes they would even give us the car. You know, they would send the cars down to us and we would fix them because customers were just not happy with the noises. You know, you're spending a lot of money on a car. You don't want to hear it creaking and rattling like a 60-year-old, you know, American-made car from back in the days where those things were slapped together. So, hope you guys learned some tips today. I'm gonna put some links for some of the materials uh, that I use in the video. I mean, not all the tools, but just the 3M window weld, uh, the soundproofing material, it's absolutely outstanding. It's rel relatively affordable. And uh, like I said, it, it's a straightforward process. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'm gonna do some more videos um, on this process. I mean, I may use the Mustang, I may use a Mercedes, uh, you know, and also a, maybe a C6 or a C7 Corvette, uh, just to show you, but it's the same principles. You wanna isolate the clips, you wanna dampen, the door panel material, the way it's put together itself, and you want to get it on the car without breaking anything. So, hope you guys had a good one, and uh, any questions, post them below. Thanks. Also, um, on any trim panels, like this little piece goes up here, 
these things tend to buzz a lot. Uh, that's just the nature of it. So you just take some of the soundproofing material, cut a little section, put it on there. It's going to make the weight of this a lot heavier and it's going to stop it from buzzing around. Because this little area up here, even though they clip in, it's got a couple of anchoring points, they do buzz. So don't forget to do any of that stuff as well. Any trim panels here and down here. Um, if this isn't rubber, if this is plastic, put a little bit of material like I show you here on there, get it in, and uh, you're never going to have to take this door panel off again.